What is up guys and today I'm going to show you how to make a smooth shake transition in After Effects. So the first thing you want to do is select all your clips and your music file by hitting Ctrl and select. And you just want to drag them in your composition. By the way, I've already made a composition but they will just ask you to click OK so just do so. Just do so. You want to de deselect these um, files and you want to move this one under this one. And uh, now you just want to um, like preview where the beat drops on your uh, track. So I've already done this. Yeah, see right here. I've already done this and marked this. By the way, if you want to mark something, just um, press here and move it all the way, uh, all the way into your um, clip. But uh, I've already done this, so it's not necessary. Just going to scale this a little bit bigger. So I can get the exact like frames for it. So it will be easier for me. Uh, but so what you want to do is like um, select this clip and as you can see my character moves his head and that's where the beat drops so I want to make sure that the clip ends right there so I could either like um, crop it down but if you want to split this if you want to learn how to split, it's just like um, Ctrl Shift D, and then you delete the first um, uh, the f first file, uh, the first clip. And what you want to do with your other clip is just move it right here, and it's there. Um, it's there where the transition is going to be. So for the actual transition, you just want to select this and hit S. And now you want to hit the stopwatch with on um, uh, by scale. And now you want to move this all the way to the end, but one frame uh, before the end. I just want to increase the scale by like um, 170. I will do. And then you want to set these file, uh, these keyframes. Just select them. Now by the way, turn on your motion blur, it will help. Uh, it will make the video seem smoother. But uh, to actually make it smoother, uh, to actually make it smoother, you just have to select these keyframes and hit graph editor. And then I'll just select, you just have to select this line by clicking on it. And then click on this. Now what you want to do is just drag this all the way here and you can sh uh, hit shift to make it flat um, yeah I just messed up there uh, just hit shift and let go I want to do the same thing but don't hit, sh don't hit shift with this one and just something like this and let's take a look how it looks right now See that seems um, seems a little bit sm smoother because it's like a transition from like um, from like slow to fast. If you want to make the transition, you can also make the transition like this, so it will be uh, faster at this point. So let's take a look. I mean, you won't see much difference, but. Well, actually, you kind of see a lot of difference. I don't know. I don't know which one I prefer. Um, I think I prefer this for now. Oh yeah, to add it to graph editor, you just have to press press on it again. And now you have to hit uh, your second clip. Move this all the way here to the beginning. By the way, if you want to move it all the way to the beginning, you can also press E. And then you hit S again. You can close this by the way. Also hit the stopwatch. And then make this like something like 200. And um, move it somewhere here. Yeah, somewhere here. And make this 100. So you have like two keyframes again. Um, and you just want to select them like you did the last one and hit graph editor 
and practically do the same but uh, in a different manner now you're going to do it from fast to slow so you just want to move this all the way uh, first do this one hit shift again somewhere here I'll probably set it and do the same for this and here and now let's take a look at our clip see that's already a lot smoother that's already a lot smoother but uh, now we're going to add the shake effect so hit graph editor close this by the way I actually don't have to close this to be honest and um, I'll move back to the beginning by pressing I, hit S, well, don't hit S, sorry, <laughs> hit this, transform, um, and right click on position and then separate dimensions. Okay, deselect these and hit the stopwatch on Y. No, no, first uh, move to the last part here of your clip. I mean, I will make this the last part of my clip. Then hit the stopwatch here. Then move back to the beginning by pressing I. And move your clip all the way down. Uh, down here. Well, it doesn't matter which one you do first. So I'm going to make this like... Um, Let's make this one like three, 370. Then move all the way. Some move some frames here, here, and then move a bit up. Um, um, probably. Yeah, let's make this 650. And see, you can see there's a little gap here, but we can fix that later. Just move a couple of frames here. And move back a bit up. And make this like 480, 450. No, four, uh, let's make this like 500. Um, okay, now I just want to see how it looks. You can always change this. Yeah, this looks uh, this looks pretty good to me. Um, I don't know. Yeah, this looks pretty good to me. But you can see these uh, like black um, bars that are appearing here. You can fix this by using the effect motion tile. And just add it right onto this clip. So basically your second clip. And make the output width uh, 500. Same for the output height, 500. And check mirror edges. And now these like little um, black bars are fixed, basically. So um, I want to just take a look again. Yeah, you cannot see them anymore. And that's basically... Now you're basically done, but you can also add some... Um, a blur to it to make it look better. I, I, at least I'm going to do it, so... Um, just want to go to effects and presets again and, uh, add, and uh, search for Gaussian Blur. Just um, add it to your second clip first. Um, right here. Now just... Just... Uh, let's go to the last frame. Go to effects. Just can close this real quick. Gaussian blur. Press here. 
We'll hit the stopwatch and make this 60. Just move a couple of frames here. Yeah, right here. I make the zero, so it will be a transition from non-blur to blur. I want to basically do the same, but reverse for the second clip. So go to the beginning of the second clip, press on the second clip, and make this. Oops, close this. Yeah, you can close this. Gaussian blur. And make this 60. Move a couple of frames. And make this a zero. And now you see. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. I mean, uh, if you're previewing it yourself, you probably won't see much of it, but. It really gives a better effect if you if you ask me. Let's just let's just check it again. So that's basically it, guys. So um, as always, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped you a lot. So and if you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I plan to do more of these, but this is it for today. So see you next time.